Welcome to Piggy Power. Today this weird fan controller resistor thing on a Berlingo. Berlingo. Also the Persia Partners same van. Why would you need to do this? Well, uh, if your fan is not working on all speeds and not working at all, as long as the fan uh, is good and you're receiving power to the resistor, then the resistor is your issue because it controls the speeds. Uh, so this customer was experiencing no speed control, only on four, and then it's died completely. In the meantime, waiting for the part. The part, as I say, you need to diagnose it, but it will look like this. They've looked like this for about 40 years. They're just different shapes of plugs, which I've now dropped. And the part number is on there. It is number 100043. And then we're gonna to need to get under there. So I'm gonna get some light, get something to lean on, because it's gross down there. Let's show you how to take this out. It's dead simple. Let's get on with it. Okay, so here we are down here in the pits of despair. Um, there's first of all a cover to remove, which is this cover here. Uh, now you don't want to just yank at it. These are just clips that you just pull back with your thumb. That's great. These clips here, you have to pull the center out. You see there's like a central stripe and that pulls out and then the clip falls out. You see that? So you pull the center little stripe out like that, a little flat blade screwdriver and then the clip falls out. That's what they look like, see? So a little flat blade screwdriver will do that just fine. That's nice, right, so we're safe. So there's a few of those on this front edge. This other one here. Just flick out that center piece. And she's out. Okay. And then all the brains is these clips here, which are just a tag to put your thumb against. Like that, squeeze. And it pops down. It's very hard to do one-handed actually, as I'm now experiencing. There we go. Pull the tab towards you and pull down. Pull the tab towards you, pull down. Like that. Cover comes forwards. And that reveals up in there is our resistor. And I plug on it. You see that? I can see that. How can you see that? and recorded is always the tricky part. So. Right. so there's our resistor pack. The little wire you just want to unclip just for access. I find anyway. There we go. It gets that one out of the way. And then right in the middle is a little tab to push forwards to the front of the car and then the plug will come down like that. But it does make contact with the pedal. So. Gotta pull it down towards you. So there's a the little tab. You push that tab in and then pull the plug away. And now we've got access to our resistor. So to gain better access, what we're gonna actually do is remove the pedal here. It's three 10 mil sockets. You probably can faff around and get in there without doing so, but it's getting in my way. Let's get rid of it. So there's two things we need to do. One, get the plug off, pull the tab away, push it up, tab away, push it up. And then we'll get a 10mm socket and whip that pedal right out. One. Two. Three. That's the pedal off. And now, nice easy access. Um, in retrospect, might as well do that before you even take the plug off to be honest, but they kind of get into the way of each other. So it's good to be out of the way altogether, isn't it? Isn't it? Right, now we can very easily get our 5.5mm socket. It is an odd size. Might be the one size you don't actually own. So you either need to get one, the, the 5.5mm socket, or you have to like use a bunch of paper to pack out your 6mm socket. Right. Cautiously undo the 5.5 mil. Any little screw. There's our little screw. And then this slides. So you push the tab in at the top and the tab in there, and it should slide across and drop down. There it goes. So did you see that? 
tab in there, tab in there, slides across to the left and then drops down. My replacement part seems to have come with a tiny extra tab which is very interesting. So I don't know if you can see that, just has an extra tab on the left. So bear in mind that fits perfectly otherwise, I'm going to remove that tab because that's the only thing preventing. And actually interestingly, that tab has been removed, cut off. And this is the original one for this van, I know that for a fact. Very interesting. So, on the new part, which is the perfect right part, you have to cut that little tab off there. Uh, yeah, tab removed with a blade. Push it back up in the hole, and that'll slide nicely across until you hear the click. That should be in. Not moving, good. We get a little screw, jab it up there by hand. Like so. And then let's do that screw up. It's just a grub screw, that's all it is. We're then not going to turn the ignition on to try it without plugging our pedal in because we'll get a pedal fault signal. And we don't want that. So basically, return everything back to where it was. And get that plugged in. you plug your pedal in, bolt your pedal in, let's make sure it works, because you might want to get up in there and do some diagnoses. Okay, make sure that clicks to go back in, and once you're happy it's working, bolt your pedal back in, trim back on, job done. <laughs>